about the party at this home where the elder graduate was badly hurt. We don't know if Ryan Custer was drinking, but police say alcohol was present at Saturday's party. And night on your side, Jay Warren talked to students who say the spotlight on Oxford highlights a longstanding drinking culture among students. At least 300 people in the backyard of the house where Ryan Custer was hurt. That's according to the officer who responded first. He says that he saw people consuming alcohol and holding alcohol in their hands. And once again, people say that it has brought that kind of attention back up to Oxford. The evidence of a huge party is present in the garbage of the house where Ryan Custer was hurt. This is the makeshift waiting pool where his family says he tried to dive underneath someone and hit his head on their knee. The police report says he lay face down in the water for 10 to 15 seconds until his friends pulled him out, and he reported he couldn't feel anything. Now, while it's still not known whether Custer was drinking, one Miami student I talked to said the accident brings attention to the university and the drinking culture. I'm a senior, and so it's been like that since I've been a freshman, but I feel like it's gone to these super extremes where very tragic things are happening, and because those things are happening, more attention is being brought here. While Ryan Custer is treated at UC Medical Center for his neck injury, we asked the Oxford Police Department whether any charges are to be filed in this case. We made an underage arrest, which was tied to the party at the time, but as far as being related to the makeshift pool and stuff, no, we don't have any anything pending. I also checked with the city of Oxford today and the makeshift swimming pool was not illegal as it is classified as temporary, much like an inflatable pool you might buy at a store. So there are no code related issues that would be filed either. For Oxford, there is nothing more to investigate. But for Catherine Scholes, who we talked to earlier, it brings added scrutiny here. It just goes to the terrible extreme of these horrible things happening, and then that gets caught in the spotlight. And in an update from his family, Ryan Custer today was visited by his teammates from Wright State University as well as former classmates from Elder. He is getting assistance breathing right now, and doctors say that will continue until he gets a little stronger. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Oxford.